this is who is their prophet and this is who we are so here actually you know like we see in the news talking about like there is some hate from time to time and i believe nothing much will happen in these days it's just some cleaning to open the way because i believe they are not ready to do the ground attack not because the army is not ready no they are not ready for something bigger in case other enemies decide to join the fight like iran you know uh, or any other country so they want to be ready for what is or might happen next and this why is going to take some time they are waiting for the american carriers there's two carriers already are coming and thousands of marines now for sure the american did not mention the number but all of us we knew that those carriers they carry a lot of marines and you know it, their power is massive so in case they decide any country any other group they decide to join then you know they will have a, a, at least a backup uh, in case they need it uh, especially in the, like uh, uh, for intelligence and for uh, spying and many things you know logistic uh, so i believe that in the coming few days nothing will happen unless they are ready and i think they will not be ready that soon you know obviously the israeli they were not really prepared to uh, to do any attack this is not their plan which their fault you see just a few days before uh uh, before before the attack at 48 hours or less Hamas they had a big uh, parade with thousands of fighters let me try to find it for you in YouTube and I was saying to myself this is before the attack happened. Why the, who is the stupid in charge, which is Netanyahu? Let that happen and did not attack them. Somebody says to me, oh, well, uh, you, you don't want to start a war yourself. So will you wait for them until they come to you second day? It was the easiest hit. They were able, if they do so, to kill thousands of them. They were not even hiding. Listen carefully. This is seven days ago. The attack happened five days ago. This is the parade Hamas did. Do you see it? Tens of thousands of their fighters is easy to kill and hit. And the stupid Israeli, they did nothing. Totally nothing. just less than 48 hours before the attack do you see why leadership make a huge difference in war and peace leadership israel do not have smart leadership right now they have the edith netanyahu they were watching them marching by thousands not only that, when Hamas lose one of their criminals, five, six, seven thousands of Hamas, they gather for the funeral. Why you don't hit them? Oh, they are not armed. They are armed. You cannot imagine Imagine we we see Osama bin Laden and we say, oh, he is not armed right now. 
I mean, the guy he killed already, and if we, if we go to arrest him, they will kill us. So there's no other choice. Two thousand twenty-six is the rapture year. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, brother. Guys, uh, text texture. X, he just gave us the rapture year. It's 2026. Uh, uh, texture, as long as it's 20, uh, 2026, what about you send me all your money, my friend? You will not need them. My car is very old. As long as you know the day of, uh, you know, judgment day, I advise you to give me your car, your house, uh, your retirement, okay? And don't forget your modem. I need a modem. You know, new modem. Hey, by the way, the computer and microphone, if you have one. Hey, by the way, it's okay if your socks is not used. I will take them. As long as you know the rupture day. That's it. The guy, he knew that day. What do you want more? What do you want more? Where those people come to me from? Did I import them from somewhere? That's it. You know, do you know what, what hour? Do you know what, uh, what like, like, is it 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock? Because please stop before. Like, if it's 6 p.m., don't forget to stop by. Give me your car and go. The guy, he knew the date, he's sure, 2020. Why 26? I mean, why why, you, why not there tomorrow? Lord have mercy. Do you have extra bullet? I have only a couple of hundreds, you know? If you have extra bullet, and you know that, you know, give me your uh, your bullets at least. Be useful. I want uh, you know hunting, and I I shot like a couple of hundred, so now I have I have just a few hundreds, maybe a thousand something. You know, give me uh, so that's it. You know the day of judgment is happening. All right. Uh, hard man make good time my friend my friend is not about hard man a hard man it's about being smart so don't talk about anyone who will say when the day of judgment will be is a fraud because this is against the bible the bible says no one knows but the father are you more knowledgeable than the father Anyone who tell us, he claim, in this year, in this time, in this hour, the judgment they will happen is a scam. If you believe in a scam, that's mean you are just a donkey. <clears throat> anyway, uh, do we have any Abdul from Hamas would like to call us? Only Hamas. Any brave man from Hamas, a rapist. Any rapist from Hamas? You are hiding right now, aren't you? If you shoot at us, we will kill the babies, okay? What a scumbag you are. Betito. You will pay. So two days, less than two days before the attack, as you see in YouTube, this was just seven days ago. Thousands of Hamas, they gather in the street with their arms doing a show. That was a great, a golden opportunity to wipe them all out. But because you have a people who believe in political correctness, because you have people who they are worried about winning election. They are not leaders. Netanyahu, he did not do it. Because, oh, people will blame me. Why are you open now? Why you do that? Why you do that? They don't care really for victory. They care for election. They are not leaders. Okay, Texter, okay. I think your mom, she is calling you, okay? And she said she want to change your texture. And I understand why she is saying that. 
Take care. Take care, buddy. I believe not all women should be give babies. As you see, a woman she gave baby, his name is Muhammad. Look what happened. CP, they make you talk politics and we do not expose Islam. Abdul, Islam is politics. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a gang when a controlled government is not about God. Islam is not godly belief. Islam is a politics. So only if you are ignorant, you think that talking about Islam, we are not talking about politics. Islam is nothing but politics. Islam is blood sucking, power licking gang. All what they care for is money and control. This is why you see in the Quran, the yellow page of Muhammad, Muhammad don't care if the Christian worship Jesus or not as long as they pay him money. A true believer will not accept if this is the purpose of the war, that you don't believe in Allah, then he will not accept. But if you pay Muhammad money, for this is politics, politics, why men they fight to be in position? Why somebody spend a lot of money to be a president? Why people kill to be kings? Because it's money and power. money and power and Islam is nothing but money and power and because Muhammad he want money he don't want God he said to the Christians if you want to believe in worshiping Jesus fine just pay me if you pay me you're fine Well, Qatar is involved in everything. Uh, uh, Qatar is one, the only one, actually, the only country as a government who fund Hamas massively. Erdogan, he cannot fund them much because he is bankrupt. Erdogan and Qatar is the one behind every attack of Hamas. And sadly, nobody speak about Qatar or Turkey. They are talking about Iran. You know those hypocrites, including Netanyahu. If you ask them now, who is the one who pay for everyone die now in Gaza? Israel will say Qatar. Who is the one who pay Hamas their salary? Qatar. Even Trump, he went in the front of the White House not long time ago when he was a president. And he said Qatar should stop immediately supporting terrorism. Few weeks after, Qatar they bribe his son-in-law, and they you know they, they they rented his building in New York, six six six. And since then, Qatar is the friends of Trump, and Biden is no better. All of them they worship money. This is why nobody is talking about Qatar. All the leaders of Hamas. They are in Qatar. The smaller ones are in Turkey. There's only few they are located in Syria because even Syria, they have big problem with the Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas supported what's called revolution against the regime, so they run away. But then after that, Hamas, they fix it, and now they have a relationship with the Syrian government. But the major number of them they live in Qatar and in Turkey. Uh, all of us renew the engineer of terrorist attack. His name is Khaled Mishal. How come Israel never mentioned his name? Because if they mention his name, they have to mention Qatar. 
As simple as that. The guy, he have guards there, he have a big villa. The, uh, all of this by, by from the money of Qatar. All of it. They don't want to talk about him. Erdogan, Erdogan, he favor him. He is his favorite guest. Actually, he gave him a diplomatic passport. But everyone knows that he is the biggest engineer of every single attack of Hamas. But did you hear anybody speaking about Erdogan? No. Nobody. And they will not. They want to blame only Iran. And all of this is because of reasons, not because of the truth. Iran support Hamas for sure. But the money, the money is the support. Hamas is trained by maybe by Iran, but the money is coming from Qatar. The training is happening in Syria in the territory of Al-Qaeda, which is controlled by Turkey. Nobody is talking about it. And they will not. This is the biggest terrorist. And if the Israeli, they want to do the right thing. If, if the Israeli, they want to hit Hamas, they should hit Qatar. They should invade Qatar. The real invasion should not happen. If you go right now to Al Jazeera TV, anyone who speaks Arabic, he can watch Al Jazeera TV. You will see they are in love with Hamas. Me, myself, I am the one who shut down a TV station called Al Jazeera Mubashar. It was broadcast into USA. In case you do not know, Osama bin Laden is a member of Hamas because Hamas is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Osama bin Laden is a Muslim Brotherhood. Until now, the stupid American they did not list the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization, including Trump. Including the coward Trump. Because if you do that, then they will have to do something with Turkey and Qatar. Egypt list Muslim Brotherhood as terrorist. Emirat, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. Syria, European no, American no, Canadian no. The truth, my friend, that the real criminals is the one who fund the criminals. Those, did you ask yourself where all this weapon is coming from? Who, do, you, do you know how much it cost to use weapon? If any of you have guns right now, if you go to training, if you go want to shoot for five minutes, at least you will spend a hundred dollar. Just, just this is just to shoot by pistol. So imagine somebody can go for war for two, three, four, five months, six months. Where is the money? You, 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 need a, you need a river of money to cover all of this. Christians must love their enemy. 
Loving their enemy does not mean we don't kill our enemies, my friend. If the enemies are rapists, the Bible says the one who live by the sword, die by the sword. This is the rule of the Bible. Don't mix things up. The Bible does not say, kiss the killer. The Bible says, kill the killer. Loving your enemy is about forgiveness and not to be full of hatred. That doesn't mean that the killer will not be punished. Jesus says, I came to complete, to fulfill, not to destroy. So when the Bible says, if somebody kills somebody, he must be killed. Well, that what should happen. And those Hamas should be punished. They live by the sword, by the sword. They will be judged. So don't mix things between love. Jesus says love your enemy. Don't be silly. Don't be stupid. Jesus did not command you to love the rapist of your wife. The one who raped your wife, he should be punished. The one who killed a human being should be punished. The thief should be punished. The cheater should be punished. You love your enemy by rebuking the enemy, not by giving him hugs and kisses. Jesus said, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. The Christian don't quote this verses because the priest says to them, Jesus love your enemy, Jesus love your enemy. But they never say it. They never quote it. The one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. They told him we have two. He said that's enough because he does not make an army just to defend himself. Peter was not carrying a sword because he used it as a toothbrush. What Jesus taught us is not to be wicked. So if we go and we fight Hamas, we will not rape their women. We will not cut the head of the babies. But we will make Hamas shish kebab. And this is what we will see in the coming two weeks. Until now, many people don't understand really what's going on. They think this is a, they are, they, those are people, two ethnic groups fighting over a land. No, this is not about a land. This is a religion, it's called Islam, a, a, a faith full of hatred to the Christian, to the Jews, to the Hindus. Can you find me one place, one nation, one ethnic, one religion? Muslims don't have a problem with it? Impossible. And who is the one who created the problem? Have you ever heard of a Jew doing suicide bombing to Muslims? When? Have you ever heard of a Hindu doing that? When? Buddhist? Christian? This is the religion of the devil himself. This is why you see them when they speak. They don't say, we want to free a land. No, no, they are talking about slaughtering the Jews. This is not about the land. You see, when the Ottoman, they occupy all the Middle East, not a single Abdul. He says, we are going to kill the occupier. No, because they are Muslims. In fact, more than a thousand years, not a single Egyptian was ruling Egypt. They are foreigners. Just because they are Muslim, it's fine. More than a thousand years. As long as you are a Muslim, it's okay. Saddam Hussein used chemical weapon. Not a single Muslim go in the street protesting. 
He killed hundreds of thousands of Kurdish, Muslim Kurdish. It's okay. He's a Muslim. He can kill. But if he's a Jew, different story. Those are Hamas explain to you why they want to kill the Jews. This is not because of a land. This is because of Allah. Because this is what Muhammad, he command. this is Hamas. <laughs> you see? The same they do when they pray to the Christians. The same they do when they pray to the Hindus. The same. But the dummy ones, they think that they are fighting over a land. This is not about a land. In the same time, all of us, we knew that this land belonged to the Jews. Even in the stupid Muhammad book, in the Quran, in the Hadith, it confirmed that this is the land of the Jews. Muhammad himself never mentioned the word Palestine. By the way, I want to ask them, Abdul, what is the name of the Palestinian king? They are not Palestinian. Those are Arab. Those are Arab. Arab are not Palestinians. They have nothing to do with this land. They came after Umar al-Khattab. He occupied the land. And now they claim that they own the land. They took Syria. Syria don't, they don't speak Arabic. This is not Arab land. The same as Iraq. You never heard of the Assyrian? You never heard of the Chaldean? Why Syria called Syria? Because they speak Syrian, which is Aramaic. Syriac. Not Arabic. I saw what his name. Uh, the guy he go with David Wood. He wrote a book. He said the Syrian are Arab. I was laughing. Since when the Syrian are Arab? He said the Palestinians are the same as Syrian. They are Arab. <laughs> When you say Syrian, that means they are Syrian, not Arab. There's a huge difference between somebody now, he lives in Syria. Originally, he comes from Saudi Arabia. And the Syrian, the Syrian, like, you know, like in the state, I say, like, no, I am an American. But I cannot say I am a Native American. The Syrian is the one who they are. Syrian. Who speak the Syriac. Not somebody, he's an Arab. He accept to call himself an Arab. And every single one of those, if you ask him, are you an Arab? He will say yes. So how they are Palestinians? Abdul Malik ibn Marwan is the first one, the first caliphate, who made all this land speak Arabic. He forced them. Before that date, nobody speak Arabic in this land. Nobody. And we are talking about what? We are talking about way after Muhammad. Hmm. 
Nobody speak Arabic in this land. So those people are occupation, and now they claim they own the land. They claim Iraq is their land, but this is the land of people of like Sam Shamoon. He is a Syrian. This is his land. This is not the land of those Arab Bedouin. Morocco is not the land of the Arab who live there now. Morocco is the land of the real Moroccan. The Berber, the Amazir, those are the real people. They have their own language. They have their own ethnic. They look different. So they occupy a land and then they steal the name. So now they call themselves Palestinian and they claim that they are the one who own the land. In the same time, we cannot find that word in their books. We cannot find their prophet ever mentioning the word Palestine not even a single time. In the top of that, we find that Allah in the Quran confirmed that this is the land of the Jews. Islam is the problem, it's not even Hamas. You see all the blah, 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 blah news talking about Hamas, Hamas. The problem is the scumbag Muhammad. If not Muhammad, those people will be nice people. This is the truth. If not Muhammad, Muslim will be the same as anybody. When they were killing babies, they were shouting what? Allahu Akbar. Nobody want to speak about the truth. Nobody want to name the real disease, which is Islam. Why those people want to kill the Jews? Because of Muhammad says so. Muhammad, he hated the one, don't accept him to be a prophet. Muhammad, he says, kill them wherever you find them. Why Saudi Arabia want to normalize with, with Israel? Because they need Israel. The Israeli should not accept. You see the stupid Israeli government, they think if they sign a peace agreement with a country, they are in peace. You will never be in peace. If you go right now and check the, 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 the official government station of, of, of Egypt, they are counting Every one of Hamas as a murder. But those, they sign a peace agreement with Israel. Murder. In their screen it says, Shaheed, which means murder. But those are the people who sign agreement with peace with them. Doesn't matter. So the Saudi now, they are at risk the Iranian is going to eat them alive. The Shia are coming to them. The Sunni are terrified. So when the Sunni they sign an agreement with Israel because they need the protection of Israel, not because they love the Jews. The Quran says, Cry not for peace. While you are the uppermost. What does that mean? Well, sign peace with them, the same as Muhammad did. If you go in the Quran, you will find the chapter number chapter nine, verse number one. It says bara. What bara? I mean, what bara? I mean, forget about the peace agreement. This is exactly what they are doing when they sign a peace agreement with Israel. They sign temporarily until they are ready to slaughter you. 
And those Jews, because they are liberals, hippies, they think really Imarat is in love with them. They think the Prince of Saudi Arabia, he will give them hugs, he is, they are in love. That's it, they forget about them, who they are. No, they don't. All of them are the same. The same as Muhammad, he signed agreement with the Jews and others. When he got strong, he slaughtered them all. He says, you have four months to leave the land. Four months. After four months from now, if I find one of you, I will cut him pieces. If you don't believe me, the story in front of you. Freedom, declare, declare, he declare that the agreement between us is gone. All what we see in front of us is nothing but politics. And me, myself, I don't respect leaders. I support Israel. I hope they will be doing the right thing. But I trust zero leader in Israel. Because Netanyahu is a businessman. And a businessman is willing to sell his wife for the sake of some money. Those are not leaders. Those are not heroes. In fact, this has come back Netanyahu. If he is a really, truly a man, he should resign immediately. Because what happened happened under his watch. How in the world this has happened? All the commands of intelligence should be treat, you know, taken to court for treason. Literally for treason. You just got busted. You don't want to talk about Cyprus. You know very well Cyprus will intervene this conflict together with Lebanon against Israel. My friend, just let me let me tell you that uh, something. You are like the same as a piece of shit in my chat. In case you do not know, Israel they have a the one one of the biggest agreement happened. The historical agreement is between Israel and Cyprus and Greece. Support of military, intelligence, and oil and gas deal. So you stupid, you need in Tel need in Cyprus with Lebanon, Lebanon. Do you even have a country that's called Lebanon? Lebanon, huh? <laughs> Little dummy. If the Israeli fought at Lebanon, Lebanon will basically disappear. Trust me, those Israeli, if they get so upset, they can nuke everybody. They don't need to go to war. So pray to the ass of Allah that the Israelis they will not lose their patience and decide to use what they have. Because what they have is enough to burn this earth. You stupid people have no idea what Israel is. You have no idea. They don't have, they don't use nukes. The, the, the hydrogen bomb is a small one. Those are the most super intelligent nation in the world. You want to play with them? They will burn you. And this is why all of you potatoes don't dare to declare war in Israel. Otherwise, Pakistan will say, Allahu Akbar, Jihad. Well, nobody there. Because they knew what Israel can do. This is the truth. If the Israeli fart, they will make you barbecue. Fort. In fact, you are attacking them because they knew they are very civil. If you know they are savage, you will never dare.
Hey, my, my friend, I'm not saying that Netanyahu do not know what he's doing. I said he is corrupt. I'm sure he knew what he's doing. That's why he should go. He's a potato. In the time of war, you need a real leader. You do not need a party. Always avoid politician. They never make victory. A politician, he want to he, he keep the chair. He just want to win the coming election. All what he do today is for the coming election, not for victory of the country. A real leader, he will not care if he will win the election or not. He cared to bring victory and safety and security to his people. And all of those you know, who you see them in TV, they are nothing but politicians. They just care to stay in the chair. They are chair worshippers. As simple as that. Israel, they made a big mistake when they start giving land to countries around them. They thought they would have peace, but they were stupid. When they gave Gaza the control to those people, they made a big mistake. Do you have peace now? After all the peace plan they have, accordingly to the imagination of the American, do you have one single day of peace? Never, and you will not. Either you or them live in that land. That's it. For those people, don't. This is not about the land. This is about religion. People don't want to understand. This is about religion. Muhammad, he said that they should kill every Jew. It's not a choice. It's not a negotiation. It is an obligation for every Muslim, not somebody in Israel, even the one in Pakistan. He has an obligation to kill every single Jew. But the stupid people think this is about a land. But this is have nothing to do with land. Muhammad want all the world, not only this land. He want USA. He want Rome. He want here, there, India. He want the whole world. Muhammad said, I been commanded to fight and kill all mankind until they say there's no God but the dog Allah and no prophet but the filthy Muhammad. Why people think this is about a little land? It's not. It's a duty for every single Muhammadan to fight and kill anyone in the world don't accept Muhammad to be a prophet. If you don't believe me, I'm showing you the reference. This is what their prophet said. I've been commanded, Muhammad saying, telling the Muslims, to kill all mankind. All mankind. Not Israel, not Italy, not Sri Lanka, any any land, the whole world. And Nasr Jamian. I've been commanded to kill all mankind, to kill them all. Until they say that Allah is their God and Muhammad is their prophet. And then and only then their money, their blood, their property is protected from my hand. Only then. I'm showing you all this reference in front of you. Not only that, even after you convert to Islam, you have to eat as Muhammad eat, dress as Muhammad dress, speak as he speak, and you have to pay him money still. This is the most authentic and this is the most approved books for Muhammadan, Al-Bukhari. And this is what Hamas, they quote for you. If you go to the website of Hamas, and funny, they have a website, and then now nobody shut it down. <laughs> nobody shut it down. 
The American, they, they own the internet. Do you know what they own mean? They own it. Literally. Which means they can shut down any page in the internet. Anyone. Even the page of Putin. Hamas page is open. They have millions of pages, not only a page. Look at this. Hamas dot PS. PS. Do you see it? Sometimes the website doesn't work because their server cannot handle how many clicks they have. But the site never shut down. The site is functioning. They have Facebook. They have Instagram. They have, they have. Nobody will shut them down. The whole world support Hamas, including the American. When the American, they supported Osama bin Laden, they supported Hamas. He's a Hamas member. Literally. Look, this is their website. Do you know what it says in their logo? It says, وَأَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ رِبَاطِ الْخَيْلِ What does that mean? وَأَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ But prepare for them to kill them. This is a verse from the Quran. This is their logo. Chapter 8, verse number 60 is the title of the Muslim Brotherhood organization, which is Hamas. Be ready with your horses, with the people to kill them. So what people need to know that Israel should not be alone fighting this garbage. The whole world should fight Islam, all of Islam. There's nothing is called moderate Muslims. That's a big fat lie. In order to have a moderate Muslim, you need to have a moderate book. Do you have a moderate Quran? Do you have a moderate Quran that says don't hate the Jews, don't hate the Christian, don't hate the, the, the Hindus? If you have it, show it to me. In order to have a moderate Muslim, you should have people believe in different book. But every single Muslim believe in this. So the moderate Muslim is just practicing in the Quran something called taqiyya. What is taqiyya? Taqiyya is you speak friendly to them, but by heart, you hate them because today you cannot do it. You cannot kill them all. You speak to them in a friendly way. Taqiyya means protection. Mean what? Protection. So you speak to them in a friendly way. A Muslim cannot take non-Muslims as a friends. And if he take a Muslim as a friend, then he meet, he says, if he is sincere. If the Muslim is sincere to have you as a friend, read with me carefully. In a prefer preference to believer who are sincere, they are what? Sincere to do what? To be friends to the non-Muslims. Okay. Those one who they are sincere, they are not Muslims. They have no connection to Allah has no honor, no mercy, no protection, which means Muslims should kill them. So if a Muslim, he is sincere to take you as a friend, Muslims should kill him. It's in the front of you. This is the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is Tafsir ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. 
So if a Muslim says to you, my friend, he's lying to you. And if he is sincere, he is not a Muslim no more. So if he says he's a Muslim, that means he's lying. Read it. I have it in front of you. I'm not making things up. This is their own explanation for their religion. This is the highest of Islam, the highest card. This is the cousin of Muhammad himself. However, if you are not sincere, you can't take them as a friend, as a protection, which means you don't mean it, unless it is be to guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, token it as where security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart dislike this. Did you see it? Speaking to them in a friendly way while your heart dislike this. This is Islam. So if one of you is a stupid to think for a second that he have a Muslim friend, that means you're a donkey. That means you're a fool. Because those people don't take friends. Unless they are Muslims. And if he is sincere, that means he is out of Islam. It says he has no connection to Allah. If he is sincere. How you will know if a Muslim is sincere or not? Impossible. Why? Because how he call himself a Muslim? You ask him, are you a Muslim? He will say yes. Okay, are you a sincerely being a friend to me? He will say yes. He's doing this. He's lying to you. So when those people think by signing agreement of peace with Muslims, they are just fooling themselves. And this is what happened now. The Israeli are relaxing. The crown prince of Saudi Arabia soon will shake hands with us. And not only that, they will build for him a nuclear facility. So later he can bomb them. This is how stupid Netanyahu is. He is desperate to make business. He thinks that's it. If we sign a paper with them, we have peace. Egypt will attack you as soon as they can conquer you. You have a hundred million population country in the border. Hundred million, not hundred thousand. Imagine if the one who attacked five days ago, it was Egypt. And those stupid Netanyahu and his cabinet, they were asleep. Israel will be destroyed. An army of more than two million people attacking, not a few thousands fighters. The whole country of Israel, they were in vacation. The army in vacation. Everybody is in underwear. They let the border with no protection. To the point Hamas, which is nobody, was able to go through. What if the one who attacked is Iran? What if the one who attacked is Egypt? In fact, it was their lucky day that the one who attacked is Hamas, not Egypt or Iran. Otherwise, the casualty will be massive. Now they lost 1,300 people. If the one who took them in surprise is Iran, the casualty will be maybe hundreds of thousands. How you go to sleep? You know, Israeli are the same as somebody decide to take a nap in a graveyard of zombies. They say the zombies are in vacation. Saudi Arabia, they want to get the technology to protect themselves from Iran. However, one day, if they have enough power, all those Muslim countries around, they will launch a massive attack against Israel. 
That's why you're just being foolish. They think by signing a paper, peace is happening. You have something way more powerful than the paper you sign. It's the Quran. Those people believe in this book, not in the paper they sign with a ruler. And even when a ruler he signed, they understand that this is temporarily. For us, we can warn. But we cannot make decision for those people. Can we? No, we cannot. We warn people, but nobody listen. And then the result is, people get killed because of their stupidity. The Israeli, suddenly they think their life is fun. Now we are in peace. We want to go next to the borders of Hamas and we want to practice peace festival there in front of Hamas. And then the Hamas, they will come from behind the wall and they will give us flowers and roses. They will do it. It's easy. They lost their mind. The Israeli, they lost their mind. And I hope what happened this few days ago will be a never again mistake. Because mistakes like this if they happen again, Israel is gone. And those who let the borders open, those who told the soldiers to go to sleep, I saw in the video soldiers in their underwear. They get them even without weapon, they have no weapon. They get them in their beds. This is how much they relax. The security depend in a sensor they install in the border in the wall. So if you destroy the sensor, no security. Have you ever heard of such a thing? We go to sleep, the sensor will work. Leaders can build nations or destroy nations. Not a war. It's not a battlefield. You see the babies, the mother, the father in their bedrooms, in their protection rooms, and how the terrorists kill them. It's not a war. It's not a battlefield. It's a massacre. It's a terror act activity. So you can look it about in, on yourself. It's something that I never saw in my life. It's something that we used to imagine as our grandfather and grandmother in the pogrom in Europe and other places. But we need to ask this guy, somebody saying in the chat that there are 70 guards only. Have you ever heard of a borders of a country guarded only by 70 guards? You know, my, gra my grandfather once, he invited the family, just the family for a lunch. We were 96 boys over the age of 18. They did not count even the females. 96, just the cousins. And you are telling me that the whole border have 72 guards. Now you are talking. Now you want to explain? Are you telling me that you are a stupid now and that will make you be forgiven? All those leaders should be taken to court and they should be accused with treason. Literally treason. This is a shame. Those people die because the army was asleep. Because Netanyahu was in the Gulf like Trump. 
because somebody is not doing the job of somebody. We cannot blame Hamas for being Hamas. We cannot blame the terrorists for doing what terrorists do. We cannot claim that this is the fault of Hamas. Those are dogs, Hamas. They, they have a rabies. You know the rabies? When you watch those videos, you'll see how they are running after those women. They are exactly like dogs infected with rabies. Did you see the woman who is naked? She is dead. I mean, she's dead. Yet they put her in the truck with them because she is pretty dead. Pervert. Sometimes you do not know what to say. And look, until now, the website of Hamas is open. Where is Biden? This website, those website is owned by America. All the internet is owned by USA. Why do they have a website? This weekend. How come we don't allow ISIS to have a website? But those, they still have a website. Official, this is not like, you know, those pages here. This is official page of Hamas. Why? Because they are not serious to fight them. They sponsor them. Every word you heard from Biden is a lie. His support to Israel is a lie. He's been forced to do something because all the Americans are so upset. This guy, he is not the president. The president is Obama, the Muslim Shia, Iranian Shia Obama. I hope I'm wrong. We will find out. We will find out in a few days. Did Biden send the American to do something? Or they will be watching from their ship? We have even American hostages. He will do nothing. Nothing. Obama will do nothing. Obama, his sponsor. This is why each time Obama, like Obama, he gave money to Iran. The first thing he did, give them money. Biden, he came the same. Six billion dollar. Until now, he refused to freeze the money. Six billions, not six millions. He free even the terrorist of Iran. That is the truth. They sponsor them. They train them. They arm them. And then they claim that they are going to fight them. And you know what? I'm very thankful for Hamas that they recorded this. This is their camera. Hamas camera. Only few shots is not from Hamas. Yeah, and they are dancing. That's it. We are in the land of peace. Let us dance. Right? So I hope that Israel learned the hard way what we can do. But I hope they will not repeat that again. And I hope that they will not stop until they finish Hamas. But I say to you what I believe. 
I believe all the talk about finishing Hamas is just a talk. I believe all the hit is done now is just to observe the anger of the Israeli. Netanyahu, he want to stay in the office. He don't care what happened. He want to make the Israelis say, oh, see, look, I destroy building. They are sending messages to people before they destroy the building so Hamas can leave. Your Netanyahu is killing buildings, not Hamas. Mr. Prime Minister, today we killed 10 buildings. Have you ever heard of an army target his enemy, tell them to leave? And now, after we made fun of such a plan, I heard that the army of Israel now is not doing that no more. This is why Hamas threatened if Israel don't go back to previous way to give a warning before they hit, they will execute prisoners. Mark Phillips, he's saying to me, we have a smart person here. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? You hurt my feeling, Mark. A Muslim, Abdul, he called himself Mark. Wait, 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 hold on. Guys, look what Mark, he said. Christian Prince, you wrote a book. Look, look, hold on, hold on. I don't know why the pages keep moving. Let us take a screenshot before. Let us put for you what the smart Mark, he said. Mark, please stop exposing me. I beg you. Please don't do that. Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Stupid idiot. So we have this uh, idiot here. Look what he said. He's a Muslim for sure. Are you a businessman, CP? You write book and people voluntarily give you money in exchange for money? What? What? Do people give me money for exchange of money? <laughs> my friend I write books because I am a thinker I have education and have you ever heard of people who make money from books are bad people according to you why you buy it people buy it because I have knowledge but I don't understand the part you are saying you must be so smart maybe your English is for sure better than mine you write books and people voluntarily give you money in exchange for money? What? Are you Prophet Muhammad who just came back from heaven? Because only Muhammad will say such a... So, uh, hold on. People volunteer give you money in exchange for money. I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think the camel you are drinking is too much stupid. that <laughs> now sometimes we need comedy you know I give my books the majority of my books I should give him for free Russian Chinese Albanian Croatian uh, Malay Indonesian I mean you name it for free have you ever heard of an author give his books for free? Have you? But uh, Mark, uh, you know, if people give you voluntarily money, exchange for money. <laughs> Stupid people. Don't get married, okay? Because we don't want to have too many kids like you. You are cute. But I don't think kids, your kids will be happy to be like their daddy. I have a long list of my books for free. I give it for free. And I am not a billionaire. Even rich people don't, don't give. Have you ever heard of a Trump giving things for free? Never. Even the hat of Trump, you have to pay for it. Hat. You have to pay for it. 
and he make money from it. I don't even ask people for donation. Do you see? I'm, did did I guys from the time I came until now I mention anything about donation? I go live. I hang up. I don't talk about it. I never mention it. Potatoes. You are money worshipper. That's why you are thinking about money. Coward people. If you go to any YouTube channel right away, the first thing they start talking about me, don't forget to support us. You know, this channel is based on your support. Thank you very much for supporting us. You know that if you don't support us, you know, like we are the one who defend the faith. Blah, 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 blah. Suddenly, if you don't support this person in YouTube, the faith is collapsing. That's it. Muslim and Muslim, I don't care. Suddenly, the person who is in this page, if, if not him, faith is collapsing. <laughs> No, no, I'm not saying to prove. I'm just, uh, you know, sh showing people logic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, no, I need to sell halal uh, uh, cat food. <laughs> Are we in end of time, Jasmine? I don't know. Maybe if I see you, you can convince me. You know, according to my look, I think it's the end of the time. You know, like I go and like, you know, I go when I go in the airplane, they say, sorry, we can't get you in. I said, why? They said, this is would be the doom day. <laughs> we need Christian prince in the Philippines. What you would do with me in the Philippines? What I would do to the Philippines? Philippines do not need more problems. This, this Filipino, he wants Christian prince in the Philippines. Do you want more problems? Why? Why you want to do that yourself? Trust me, you don't want it. Uh, who played the victim card better? Palestinian or Pakistan? Well, it doesn't matter which, uh, this is not about an ethnic. Those Mohammedan always, they kill you, they rape you, and then they go in your funeral. Doesn't matter what, this is not about uh, Hamas or the Muslims. It's the same everywhere. They take your land, they rape your women, they, they steal your money, and then they complain that the TV they took from your house, the screen is not working. The remote control is broke. There's nothing called Palestinian land. Palestine is not an, you see, people, they are confused about what is uh, Palestinian and what is Palestine. Uh, in, this is language. If you have little knowledge of language, then you will know that even ethnic or names of a group is given by location. So as an example, when we say Arab, Arab are not an ethnic. Arab is an Aramaic word, mean desert. So whoever live in the desert, even if they are not from the same ethnic, they call them Arab. This is an Aramaic language. Aram is a word meaning the high hills or like mountains. So those who live in the mountains, they were called, or hills, they are called Aramaic. So if you live in Las Vegas in the time of the Aramaic, you are an Arab because you live in a desert. It's like saying gypsy. Gypsy is not one ethnic. It's a, it's a life, a, a, like a, a, a style, a style of living. People don't have houses, they keep moving from place to place. So they call them gypsy, but they are not one exactly one ethnic. They are mixed. Arab is the same. Is not an ethnic. Never was. It's not even a language. By time Arabic language formed by mix of languages. This is why when you read the Quran, you will see the Quran is not an Arabic. Even though it's called Arabic. Even the word Quran itself is not an Arabic. There's nothing in, in, in Arabic, you see, when you have language, uh, there is a base of the language. So any word, you can root the word, like Quran, what Quran? You can't, it can't, can't be Arabic. This is coming from the Aramaic. Qarrawara, qarr, qarr, which means he moved his lips, he said. Ra'a, which means he saw. The Quran cannot be that, because why? 
Because in order to be qarrawara'a, which means Quran, it have to be something said after he saw. Which means he read what he saw. But Muhammad, according to Muslim, he did not, he was not given a book, he cannot even read. So even the name is wrong. Ana Arabiya Sakna Jabbi Jabal Jbal. I don't know what uh, joy is that in Arabic? Are you using Google? Same time, all of us we knew that not long time ago, you know, depend what long and short is, this land, nobody speak Arabic. Can you find one, just one, scribe in any wall in Jerusalem? Go back to the time so-called Palestine in Arabic? No. So who, what, who was there? Those people, they hijack all culture, they hijack all ethnic. Even Moses is a Muslim. Moses, Moses is a Muslim. Suddenly Abraham is the grandfather of Muhammad. Jesus is a Muslim. They hijack everything. Even Alexander the Great is a Muslim. Islam is a hijacking religion. It's not they hijack only airplanes and cars and, and ship and they are pirate. No, they hijack any famous person. If you are famous and you die, a thousand years after the Muslim, they will say he converted to Islam, he was a Muslim. Trump is a Muslim. I don't think they will say Biden is a Muslim, it's an embarrassment. Trump, he fit more, like, you know, he like... Uh, He's a lousy boy. Ah, and the Trump is talk is taking my words. Trump he made a speech two days ago and he was saying he spoke to a Taliban leader. He said to him, Abdul. <laughs> Where did Trump he learned this word? He said, Abdul, Abdul. Did you did you hear the speech of Trump? Abdul. The next video of, uh, okay, let me see, I don't know. Uthman. Uh, this is Chippet uh, Sheikh Asim. This weekend. Second video. No, the second video is 19 hours ago. It doesn't show anything really. Let us see. Seen a reporter forced to take a shelter and ground in Israeli. Well, you know, those, uh, those CNN uh, uh, journalists, they fake things up, you know, like they, they will throw themselves in the floor even if there's somebody is farting. Just to make it like dangerous because, you know, like oh, we are in the front line, but it, it, I don't think even there's something really serious happening. We saw them many times, CNN, Fox News, all of them, they are liars. Like even when the, uh, uh, like they report rain, a flood. So what they do? They go to the lowest hole in the street and stand there and now look at the flood. Look, 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 here, here. Even we saw in the video, some of them, they are making their clothes dirty to make themselves like it's horrible. So don't take things from those CNN and those stupid people, you know. They will throw in, they will jump in the floor for any reason just to take. And look, she is in the floor, but the camera on her. I mean, if somebody at risk, you see, if you fail down, and the camera is still open, I will believe you. 
but you fell down and the camera is on and taking position and you have makeup, that must be true scene. That is an Indian movie. You know, in Indian movies, it's amazing actually, I love Indian movies, you know, the, 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 the amazing about it, like, impossible things can happen. Impossible. Not only Indian, they eat like so hot food, which is impossible for me to eat, but like a guy meeting a girl in the middle of nowhere, and suddenly there's 50,000 people dancing, wearing the same clothing, moving the same move, singing the same song, and supposedly this is a rendezvous between two lovers and nobody knows about the location. Is that what happened when uh, Hamas, they attacked? The Israeli army, they were asleep? I mean, Indian movie is more convincing for what happened in Israel. I cannot, I cannot watch Indian movies because I will keep like saying what how, what is how this happened what, what is that you know uh, Indian movie is the same as Arabic movies like Arabic movies you hear the guy like you hear somebody hit somebody but you are looking at the TV there's nobody hitting anybody five minutes after the sound came the sound come before the the video <laughs> like but you look at the screen like nobody is hitting anyone what where is the sound is coming from two minutes later. You see the head, you know? Yeah, our Arabic movies, uh, uh, we are the one who created the cinema. Shakespeare is an Arab. His name, is real name is Sheikh Sisbur. This is what Al-Qazafi said. Huh? Al-Qazafi was is making a speech in Africa. He gave a check for every African uh, uh, president. And then they decide to name him the king of kings of Africa. Money, you know, money, you see money? No. Million dollar, million, give, 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 give money, give money. All the president of Africa, they agree to name him the king of kings of Africa. And al Khazafi making a speech, he says, uh, democracy, democracy, where the word democracy come from? Democracy, 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 bring the chairs. Suddenly, democracy is coming from the Arab. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we are the one who created democracy. I mean, come on. Bring the chairs. <laughs> uh, you keep telling me the next one, next one. What about you give me the title instead of telling me next one? <laughs> the next one, the next one. And I will keep clicking at next one, next one. And then you keep saying to me, this is not the one. Is that an Indian? Are you, Knight, are you an Indian director in an Indian movie? He keeps saying to me, click at the next one. We click at the next one. He says, this is not the one. The next one. Oh, boy. Where is Toiva Singer now? Don't worry. He will come in a week or two from now, and he will praise Hamas. He will say Islam have nothing to do with Hamas. Just wait. You know? He will say Hamas have nothing. Uh, Prophet Muhammad will never approve that. Never. Even Muhammad says, if you find a Jew hiding behind a tree, kill him. And this will be happy in the judgment day. Uh, I am texture dad, 500 for you. If you give me one, 10,000 in 2007 is still here. Uh, okay, June, okay, no problem. But, but June, I don't know. I mean, you are his dad. So I did the block texture 10 hours ago. His dad came after 10 hours? I mean, thank God you don't work in the police station because you are so fast, man. Hmm. All right. Where is the mom? Where is the mom? Is the mom is here? The title is raw, uh, raw uh, footage. Raw footage, raw footage. Uh. Raw footage. Uh, well, uh, here we go. Okay, I see a raw footage here. Oh,
Now obviously this is a video made by Hamas because they are uh, hiding the faces of the fighters. So later Israel will not target them. Mostly the one who was holding the camera. Or maybe posted later by Hamas somewhere. Yeah, maybe Hamas posted. Yeah, anyway, this this is in the IDF uh, uh, videos, so nobody can censor them, because if they censor, they have to censor those too. But anyway, we know what happened, and, you know, I'm not worried really about Israel, the strength of Israel. Israel is a very powerful country, extremely powerful country. But what I'm worried about, that if such a thing happen again, and those who they are in charge, they go to sleep, Actually, if you think about it, Israel should be very thankful for what happened. Because that exposed all the weakness of defense they have. They are so lucky that this is not a massive attack of a massive country like Egypt or Iran. If a few thousand they were able to do this, in a few hours what if the attack launched by Egypt and now the Israeli are very relaxed with Egypt they think Egypt is a friend which is not true so I hope that they learn their lesson and they will change the way they monitor their borders and they will not focus in sensor and electro, like electronic uh, uh, alarm system because those can be hacked, those can be stopped, those can, can lose power, those can be a hit. If all your system of defense depend in a sensor, always you have to maintain the traditional way beside all technology. And always you have to have, they should have actually, flying drones non-stop in the space. I mean, this is the country who make the best drones in the world. Can't you keep drones, you know, flying non-stop? Are you out of electricity? Are you out of money? They should monitor all their borders and the sea with non-stop drones which is very easy but obviously what happened is that when somebody he think he become a lion he is so strong he is so powerful he sleep Uh, uh, Stephen saying Hamas killed uh, uh, Egyptian soldiers and killed more than 300 uh, Egyptian a Muslim Egyptian too and they made explosion in churches and then still the Egyptian they support Hamas yeah because you know that the issue is Hamas represent the real religion of Islam. The government in Egypt don't present that. They don't.
So the majority of the Egyptian, they will support Hamas. As long as the second you say Allahu Akbar and you say Muhammad, then people will support. That is the fact. That's why we are saying to people, this is not about a militant, this is not about a land, this is not about freeing a land, this is about religion. Imagine if Hamas is still the one who control Egypt. Because yes, they control Egypt. The Muslim Brotherhood, they took over Egypt for almost two years. If they are the one still in charge, Israel will be Situation will be totally, totally difficult, difficult. So anyway, the Chinese, they said, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. And the leaders of Israel in the last week, they were donkeys. They were not horses. They let their guard down. They did not protect their borders and they went for vacation and everybody was asleep. It was a very horrible mistake. The price is so high, but still they should be thankful that the price is not what it can be. And they should learn from what happened so it should not happen again. Otherwise, if the attack was done by Iran, or by Egypt, not by a group of militants. The casualty will be massive. The army will sleep. The leaders in vacation. The whole nation is asleep. What a shame. What a shame. So anyway, just to make it simple for you, what I think about what will happen in the coming week, or the coming, let us say, two weeks, I don't trust Netanyahu. I believe Netanyahu is a scumbag. I know many of you will be unhappy with me saying that, but I believe strongly Netanyahu is the last one to be a, the, the leader for this time. He's not. He, all what he will do is just to protect his position for the coming election, which means he would do things to make himself look like a hero. You see, I avenge you by destroying buildings. Until now, we do not know really if they killed... I mean, what is the percentage of those from Hamas who got killed? We don't know. Most likely, they are very few. Hamas is hiding under the ground. Last week, Hamas, they have a huge break, a, a, a parade Tens of thousands, they gather, and Netanyahu did nothing. That was the perfect time to kill them. Now it's very hard. And now if you go, and even if you go invade the land, they will get out from Egypt. So if the Israeli really, they want to capture Gaza and capture Hamas, they should take the borders between Egypt and Gaza, and they should demolish the land, the whole land must be demolished, should bombard him very heavy. They should be able to dig down deep, 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 deep and put massive bombs, not just normal muscles, in order to get them captured inside Gaza. Otherwise, if those tunnels are still open, they will get out from the south of Egypt. And I believe already a lot of them, they are there already. So if, if Israeli go inside Gaza, Hamas go out to Egypt, Israeli leave, Hamas come back. So they did nothing. If the Israeli want to do the right thing, they should not leave Gaza never again. This territory should be again under the, the control of Israel by military, and should not allow any Islamic organization to be functioning in that territory. And if you want a real solution, they should take 
them all and send them to Egypt. This is not their land. This is the land of the Jews. You will never have peace as long as they are there. Send them all to Egypt. Egypt is a, a thousand times bigger than Israel. Empty land, massive land. Send them to Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan. But you should not keep them there. So I don't trust what Netanyahu will do. He's just going to do some... They want to show you, like, look what I destroyed, you know. 10% of Gaza became dust. But this is useless. You know, they did that before. Nothing new. You are destroying now 100 more building. There's nobody there. So I hope that what will happen is not what I'm thinking. But I don't trust this man. And we don't trust Biden. So who's left? European Union? Good luck with that. Mostly, Netanyahu will do some action just to make his citizen feel better. But it's not real. I don't think he will do anything serious. And I hope I'm wrong. If he is serious, he should attack Qatar. At least attack, send commandos to arrest or to kill the head of Hamas is in Qatar. This is the this is where the money is coming from. The prince of Qatar should be arrested and brought into justice. Erdogan, those are the real Hamas. They are just talking about Iran. When all of us we knew that Qatar is behind everything, all the weapons bought by Qatar, smuggled by Erdogan. The training done by Iran. But if you talk, if you see what the Israelis saying, they keep saying Iran, Iran, Iran. But this is not really what happened. As long as they are not sharing the truth, that means they are just a planning for nothing. Look, I'm seeing a video now. This guy is setting fire. Not only they kill the people inside the houses, look how filthy they are. He stole their food, and now he want to set a fire in the house. Look at this. They even took them in the sea. What a shame, what a shame. I don't know what to say. But I can't blame the terrorists for being terrorist. I can blame only the Israeli leader for being stupid. As simple as that. Right? Nobody can blame a terrorist for being a terrorist. It's not an excuse to say, oh, they are evil. We know that. Until now, actually, Netanyahu did not apologize by resigning. If you have little dignity, he should leave the office immediately and give his job to someone he can do a better job. But he has no dignity. He worship his chair. He's a chair worshiper. All right, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And uh, me, myself, I support Israel. In fact, I will not even mind to go and fight with them side by side. But I am sure they are not short of men. As long as they have a lot of men, they go to parties. What I think is the duty of their men to defend their land. Let the hippie force the Orthodox Jews, force to reap a singer.
to carry a gun and defend this coward who defend Muhammad always. We pray that they will be doing better. Did you see the video title Mossad chief level a threat to Iran leadership West Bank lashes? No, I did not see, but my friend talk is cheap. So what the threat, well, you know, they are threatening Iran for the last 25 years. Netanyahu, he was there. Iran, every day they took Iran, Iran. But they never hit a bullet at Iran. Talk is cheap. You know, I don't want to go in details, but the one who made Hezbollah grow is the stupid Israeli leaders. When they were to draw from south of Lebanon a long time ago, when they did that, they made Hezbollah look like victorious. It was just politics. They were to draw overnight. Stupid decision. So the truth is that those terrorist groups, all of them, all of them, they grow because the West and Israel, they close eyes on them or even sometimes support them. In fact, Hamas itself, in certain time, was sponsored by the Israeli government. You might say, how come? The Israeli, because they are so smart, they say to themselves, oh, let us release the founder of Hamas, which is a smaller group from jail, so they can grow, and then they will compete with the Yasser Arafat group, and they will kill each other. And this is what happened, really. Until now, they are divided. They hate each other. But now you have more aggressive terrorists than Yasser Arafat. Very simple. The same as what the stupid American did with Osama bin Laden. They want to get rid of the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. Oh, we got rid of them. But now we have a more aggressive dogs in Afghanistan. Anytime you support evil, evil will come back to you. Remember that. Anyone support the Islamist terrorist, he will pay the price. Supporting evil cannot be justified. An American and Israeli, they pay the price by support. Netanyahu himself, just a few years ago, he built a hospital for Hamas in the Syrian border with Israel. Yes, Hamas. Those Syrian rebels are Hamas. Those are Muslim Brotherhood. And even the video is there in the internet. You can go and see it. He visited them there. He shake hands with them. So how you find them in, in, in Israel and you support them in Syria? Until now, they did not get it. Supporting the devil will make you a devilish, not a good man, not smart man. Every single Muslim sponsored by Israel in Syria hate Israel. So why you support them? Stupid. Obama sent $600 million to the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda in Syria. Do you notice that until now, the American, they never mention Al-Qaeda in Syria no more? They don't talk about it. Suddenly, the Qaeda is our friends. Why? Because they are protected by Erdogan. They have a massive territory controlled in Syria. Syria is way more close to Europe than Afghanistan. How come they're not worried? So you have a corrupt leadership in America, in Israel, and this is why those terrorists, they flourish. They find weakness. Did you ask yourself why they were able to do this now? Because in the last 20 years, Israel never have a real leader. Never. They have potatoes. They have people who do politics not leaders.
Same Israel did by helping Azerbaijan. They helped Azerbaijan, a Muslim country, to kill the Christian people. Zero ethic. So, always when you do evil, evil will come back to you. I hope people will remember that. Why the Israeli don't cry for the people of Armenia? Why the whole world don't talk about what happened in Armenia? Because Armenians, they are poor, nobody, you know. Nobody care. By the way, in the same time, I believe that Armenia did, they are, they did a stupid job. They, they trusted Putin. Any nation trusts other nation for their protection are stupid. Totally stupid. It doesn't matter if you are a big nation or a small nation. If you trust someone else on your protection, you are a donkey. Putin sold you out to the Turkish. Israelis sponsor Azerbaijan because they need them in the border of Iran. They justify it. This world is full of garbage. And somebody has to do the cleaning. We are not sure who yet. But neither Netanyahu is the person who can do it. I don't trust this man. And I hope, I pray that I'm wrong. I pray that Netanyahu will be the person who will do the cleaning. But let us see. I am, I can say I am 95% sure that Netanyahu will not do a good job in the coming two weeks. And the talk about demolishing Hamas is nothing but politics. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope. He will destroy many buildings, but he is not even killing Hamas. They aren't even there. Most of them, they are already in Egypt. So we hope and we pray. More than this, we can say nothing. In the same time, what happened, it can be a great lesson for Israel, so they will learn that they should not ever do this such a mistake again. You are lucky today that the attack happened by a 2,000, 3,000 invader, not a massive army like the Iranian army or the Egyptian army. What will happen to you if the inv invasion was 300,000? What will happen? with way more higher equipment and technology, what will happen? So you lost 1,200 citizens, you're lucky. Otherwise, the casualty can be beyond imagination. If you live in the neighborhood of terrorists, never close your eyes never if you sign a peace agreement with a terrorist never believe in it for a second even if you shake hands with them today never and if you do you just signed your death sentence it's like sleeping with the snake in a box and the snake convince you that her skin is soft now and she's going to sleep. The one who trusts a snake is a fool. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I don't want to keep you longer. And I hope with tomorrow or the day after we will have a better news. And I will try to come again tomorrow. Until I see you again, if you feel like to subscribe if you are new. If you like what we do, uh, you can uh, subscribe and share our videos. And if you don't like, well, good for you. Maybe it's better for your health. Because camel urine never was healthy. And here, if you come here, you will hear us talking a lot about Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad and his camel urine medical magical power. So we hope Hamas will be destroyed. And we pray 
that the Israeli army will be victorious by a real victory, not by destroying buildings where nobody lived there and Hamas are gone. Let us see. Thank you all. God is good.